I have gotten really good at tongue popping and I can't stop doing it. That was bad, but sometimes I'm good. No, it's bad. All right, let's get an emo drag and let's talk about our feelings. Hi, it's Trix Mintel. Welcome back to the channel. I'm alone here in the studio today. Hello. I gave Nick the day off. Brandon is running around doing errands and I'm just here self-taping today. It's me by myself. This is how we used to operate. Nobody used to help me. I just want to get in drag. I'm going on a work trip this week. I'm going to the UK to film some television. You don't know what it is, but I'm winking even though you'll. I just want to get in drag. I've been having a, a weird time in life. And so I want to get in goth girl drag and just feel my fantasy. So I'm not going to do anything new with my foundation today, um, but I have a bunch of new eye stuff, cheek stuff, lip stuff. So I'm just going to do my brows and start my foundation and come back and let's just focus on the new stuff. Today's video is sponsored by our friends at Rocket Money. It is no secret that I am very interested in the spending, the saving, the experience of being responsible with money. I've been using Rocket Money for years and there are reasons that I first became obsessed with it. And I'll tell you those. And I'll tell you reasons that I'm currently obsessed with it. So when I first started using Rocket Money, it was a way for me to get in touch with how many weird little recurring expenses I was paying every month without really realizing it. Things like I had a gym membership in New York City. Why? It doesn't matter, but Rocket Money helped me find out and helped me cancel it. Thank God I was paying for it for an embarrassing amount of time. But now I'm obsessed with it because I love the way it categorizes the way I spend my money. So my data is all scrambled for privacy purposes. So there's gonna be made up names, made up charges, but I just wanna show you. So it has basically a calendar. It says coming up, what's coming up. It has my recurring things like these are due soon. Let's say it's your cable, your rent. You can even program in something like, oh, well, every two weeks I get my hair touched up or whatever. You can program that all in so the phone and you, you start to know what's due when. You can even set a budget. So you can be like, you know what, this month, I'm gonna spend this much on coffee. There's like the angel and the devil on your shoulder and this app is a little accountant on your shoulder being like, didn't you say you weren't gonna spend more than this? I think an app like this that makes people feel empowered and in control of their money is extremely important. So to try it out for free or unlock more premium features, go to rocketmoney.com slash Trixie Mattel or you can use the little QR code right here. Isn't it cute? Just give it a try, you guys. I tried it for free and I'm obsessed with it. I'll never look back. Thank you so much to Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to that premium premium content. Well, look crazy. Brushes. You guys, I just, I mean, I don't know. This is just a day of enjoying getting in drag and just enjoying cross-dressing. Enjoy the joys of cross-dressing, but uh, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I get on here sometimes and I'm just like, what if I fucked around and was just like honest about how I think and feel sometimes. It's just, it's, it's just been, lately it's been a little drag struggle bus, a little bit of a drag struggle bus. I need to start with some black liner. That's the tea. I got this eyeliner here from Beauty Bay. I love Beauty Bay's products. Everything they do is good. So I'm excited to try Wait, is this white? No, it's black packaging. It's white packaging with a black line. I want to do, listen, Evanescence sent me, Hip Dot sent me this Evanescence palette and I really want to use it. So I'm in the mood to be gothy and moody today, but I also want to use this product. So e-girl, does that mean emotional girl, electronic girl? I don't know. So let's just start with some shadow here. This is the Hip Dot Evanescence. I'm, you guys, I had this CD. Was it called Fallen? Yeah, I think I was probably 14, 15, maybe 14. Kids today will not understand the chokehold that Evanescence had on young gay people. Hello, Brandon's here. Say hi. So I think I don't, I I'm just want to do big circular dark blue eyes, like big, whew, that's what I want to do. So that's what I'm going to do. There's some really nice colors here, you guys. I mean, I just want to show you. It's not dissimilar to kind of our, this is like the, the depressed cousin of nighttime realness because nighttime realness is all bright blues. And this is a little more sad girl blues, which is, which is great, which is valid and great. Oh my God, these names. Oh, these are song names going under. I loved that song. Do you guys remember? I mean, you probably don't remember that song, but that first track on that album, Going Under, was a great song. I couldn't believe it wasn't a single. You know what I like about Hip Dot? And I don't I don't know how to say this in a way that is like diplomatic. This is not a read. They will f around with these collaborations. They will just do the most like, sort of like the collaboration that you would joke about. Hip Dot's like, no, 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 we're doing it. That's like already happening. And I love that, like makeup is so serious and Hip Dot is like, they're like, let's make makeup a little bit stupid. And I hope that's a compliment. I think it's a compliment. I think this industry is like 
just wrought with like drama and fierceness and empty and who's the youngest, wettest, tightest person with makeup on on the internet. And I like that Hip Dot is like, what if we just remember that makeup is foolish? I think I remember my first job was at an ice cream place called Lickety Split. And I remember like listening to this CD on like a Walkman while my mom drove me to my job. Look how white I am, you guys. I stopped self tanning. I'm just taking a break. And it's crazy. It just took like a few days for me to like plunge back into the, the whiteness. This color is called Bring Me to Life, this lighter gray. Brandon, did you listen to Evanescence? No. Yeah, I don't. David was like, I didn't listen to Evanescence. I kind of thought everyone did. If you're gay and you had an Evanescence phase, let's talk about it. I had like, you know, I was learning guitar at the time. Like I remember, you know, having my first electric guitar and I remember learning to play electric guitar along with like Evanescence albums and stuff like that. It's not exactly new information, but I was a very like, you know, I don't want to harp on it. But I think we all know that I had very unique scenarios occurring as a teenager and a child and really depressing music. I was I was sort of like, oh good, let me just have something to sit and like be depressed to. Kind of, I mean, I'm not saying that you have to be depressed to like this type of music, but I'm saying for me at the time, being bummed out as a teenager was like my inlet to like music where this hot girl is like scream singing about pain. And I was like, oh, I'm not a hot person or a girl, but I have pain. I can, I can get into this. I'm trying to do nice and tight. I don't want it to be too blown out and crazy. And I would like to on this makeup. I mean, I usually do the Trixie makeup kind of straight down and like really angled down white. I would like to on this do more straight across, but I have these things where when I'm doing my makeup, sometimes the muscle memory takes over and I end up like doing my own thing. Can you get me a nighttime realness? Yeah. This color, hello, looks a lot like cut the cameras. Obviously no one in makeup, listen, no one invented blue eyeshadow. It's actually very affirming that I like this palette and it's similar to nighttime realness. I'm like, okay, good. I have good ideas about blue eyeshadow. See, this is, this is nighttime realness. It's, <laughs> compared to this, it is way different. This is dark sided music. This is happy, very happy. These are your two moods. If you are a blue eyeshadow person, you're happy, you're crying. I'm gonna wrap this around. I'm gonna use this color called Hello, which I remember that song, Hello by Evanescence. All piano, so beautiful. That was an album, you guys, that I used to listen to top to bottom. I don't think kids today know that you used to not have iTunes or Spotify or anything. So when you had a CD, you listened to every song because you you only had your newest CD to listen to or one of your old CDs. Michelle Branch, Avril Lavigne, there's artists where I listen to every song on every album for years because it's, they just be in my car. And when you have a CD player in the car, you would just let your CDs play top to bottom over and over and over again. So now when I hear a song I haven't heard in 20 years, I will still like know it like it was yesterday. But then I can't even learn the words to my own music now. So like, what is the truth, Ellen? I will say, I do wish this had a lighter blue because I'm gonna go into the corner here and I'm gonna have to use a shimmer. That's okay, I'm trying to branch out. I'm gonna take this My Immortal. That, I mean, that's a, that is a dramatic piece of music as well. And that's what I'm gonna use right on the inside of the eye. But back to my depression. No, I, I think depression's a heavy word. I don't think I've been depressed in a very long time. Lately, let's say I've just been very in touch with, I don't know, everything's crazy. The world is crazy. There's so many problems. I mean, I live in Los Angeles, which is a living, breathing human rights violation. I mean, it's just, it's really a shocking place to live. Hollywood is a shocking place to work. It's just, I don't think I am uh, feel different about anything now, but lately it's been really hard to not just flat out stare at the extreme American social problems. It's been a very preoccupying thing in my mind. And instead of being like, no, you just have like a little anxiety. I've been like, no, maybe for the first time you're paying attention to the world's real, very serious inequities. This is beautiful. So this pencil, Makeup by Mario does this master blade brow pencil in blonde. And lately, oops, that's this, this blue side. Lately, I've been using this for photo shoots and TV and stuff because I've been trying to do lighter brows. I really, you guys, I love RuPaul. And I stare at that bitch's eyebrows because they are so, they're like the most underrated part of RuPaul's makeup. They are flawless. It's the exact, Shape, arch, tone, ombre, like it's perfect. And I think looking back at pictures of myself, I think I was doing really big, thick, dark brows for a long time. And I'm trying to do thinner, softer brows. You know what I mean? I'm kind of going through like my, my real girl phase. I've been doing like lower, smaller brows. You guys, I love Makeup by Mario. He does really beautiful products. Every time he sends me something, I'm like, this is amazing. All his brow products, amazing. Lip products, amazing. So I'm gonna go do my brow sketching. I'm gonna do the other eye. You guys have seen me clean up my brows before, but I'm gonna go do this side and be right back. 
I'm back. I didn't do anything too different. I did some of those um, Rimmel concealers kind of as a foundation with Studio Fix Fluid. And then I did some of my L'Oreal Infallible powders as like a contour. Um, I think I went a little light, but I am really light right now, you guys. Like, what can I... <laughs> it's a lot easier to do drag when you are not at the extreme end of the fairness spectrum because you really can't highlight without doing like really light. And all shadow is super, super deep, but... I, that's why for me, at least being in drag, I tend to look better a little tan. I got this paint. This is from Hip.2. This is the PP Pepe white body paint. This is from the My Chemical Romance collection. I have a feeling that of course, it's not gonna deliver the way I want it to, but I just think for the sake of a video, like let's just use it and f around and find out. I don't know who they're selling white body paint to and for what. Like the average person, I don't think uses white body paint. Maybe they do. I don't know. I don't know what you do with your life. I like to use my little Trixie Compact to get right in here and when I do this liner. I don't often do this liner on camera for you guys, so let's just do it today. Nice and slick, very emollient, very slick. Now this is not gonna dry down. This is obviously like a grease base. I bet this doesn't have ingredients on it, but not a grease base, but it's gotta at least be like a wax, synthetic beeswax base. I used to use like a white clown paint for the white liner. And I will say it just doesn't wear the same. These like emollient based stuff doesn't wear the same as a gel liner that dries. Very white. Very white. You guys see how nice and white that is? However, this is obviously, like I said, like a clown paint, so I'm gonna have to go in and set this. I kind of want to do like a blue shimmery lid. Do you think I can pull that off? Let's just do it. I'm gonna take this haunted color, which is a little more ghosty gray blue, very shimmery. Oh, it's nice. I really like it. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this to the other side and be right back. So we're back. And I'm just gonna start to do, I, I only do black and white liner on camera with you guys because you never know. I could be developing something that I don't want to share yet. But today we're going to use some other people's stuff. This is Sigma Beauty's Gel Eyeliner in Wicked. I've had this before. It's really good. I've run through the whole jar and I remember that it's very black. So we have our little pen liner here from Beauty Bay. And this is what I, you know, kind of use. I like to use the pens to sketch the shape. Oh, okay. I forgot that when you're using like a clown paint, it does not take pen liner very well. So actually I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna use the Sigma liner in Wicked, which is very black. And this is what I'm gonna use to get in here and start filling in this eye, baby. This is my, by the way, fun fact, it's my least favorite part of doing Trixie makeup, the black and the white liner. It, Cause it's in every look and it takes a long time. And if you speed through it, you mess it up. This is my passion. Nice. I'm gonna use my pen liner on the end though, just to try to get it perfect. Eyeliner is important to me. Does anybody else use like four different types of eyeliner? Every single makeup you do. I have like my marker, my fine tip marker, my fat marker, my gel, my liquid. I need options, all right? I have a lot going on. Do you guys see that? It's just, it's not as crisp as it normally is. Cause it's, it's you're, you're painting black gel liner over white clown paint. And it's just, it's all moving. Very gothy. I'm gonna set it. I really want it black. This Illamasqua black is sickening. I was working on a certain television program that I judge about certain performers from all over the galaxy, perhaps. A makeup artist that I was working with was showing me this exact shadow and I'm like hooked because it's so black. It's hard to make a black shadow. It really is. We've talked about this on the channel before, but making a black shadow is hard. But do you see how much darker that is now that that's on? And I'm gonna take some of that Illamasqua black and I'm just gonna close up the edge of the eye to just smoke it, smoke, smoke. I went to get, this is the Peanuts and Wet n Wild Holiday. Ah! This is the Peanuts uh, Wet n Wild Holiday Hugs Lash Curler. That's how long, I, you guys, I have PR from probably last Christmas. I'm still like working through. And I love lash curlers. Trixie Cosmetics, we make a fabulous lash curler. And so I hold lash curlers to a very high standard. Love that. I have had the Wet n Wild Lash Curler before and I find for the price point, it is incredible. I was watching a TikTok the other day and they were talking about the first lash curler and they said that it was priced at about $75 based on what many money meant then. This was pretty much what it looked like. So I have, you guys know I love the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. This is a Sky High Tinted Primer. So I'm gonna try them both. I'm just gonna try them both. And maybe I'll do both eyes so you guys can see because I know that with my big black liner, you can't exactly see on this side. This is definitely a primer. And I have to say, shout out to Maybelline. I like a tinted primer because I think white lash primer is unnecessary. It's unnecessary, it's weird. It doesn't have to be white. The primer should be like a tinted gray black. Like, I love Sky High Mascara. This is a really good mascara, you guys. It really just builds and builds and builds. They get so fat and long. I think it's such an impressive mascara. So I'm gonna do this side so you guys can kind of see. I'm gonna go in with my lash curler. And I think if you're doing mascara and you're testing a mascara, you have to curl the lashes. You gotta give it a fight chance. By the way, did you guys notice I like, I started this video talking about like being kind of 
bummed out lately. I'm one of those people that's happiest in motion. When it's like Christmas or I have a week off or something, that's when I get weird. I can't be left alone with my own thoughts for too long or I start to get really weird. It's good for me to have things to do. It's good for my health. Tinted lash primer, let's do it. Oh yeah, do you see it? It's basically a mascara. Okay, that is a lot of mascara. I'm gonna say that this looks good. However, I imagine Sky High with this primer is a little insane. So let's see what happens. Oh my God, oh my God. All right, this is actually probably too much for the average person. These look extremely chonky. I don't mind chonky in drag, obviously. I think on a real person, unless you're wearing a lot of eyeshadow, I think that this primer with this mascara might be a little intense. But maybe this primer is a good way to make another mascara work that you're not crazy about. In that case though, just buy a new mascara. I, th I think good for drag queens or like people who really, if you're about to prep your lashes to put on like a nice big chunky feathery individual lash, maybe this would be nice, but like, do you see how fat and chunky these are? I'm gonna do my liner on this side to match this side and we'll be right back. All right, we're putting some lashes on. These are just some big triple double. You guys, I recently, and this is maybe, I don't wanna get thrown in federal prison, but I wanna say what happened. I used my power and influence as a lash manufacturer or a lash seller, lash maker, to finagle owning a thousand pairs of 301 lashes. So I, Trixie Mattel now, basically tracked down and purchased my favorite style of lash in the quantity of a thousand so that I will never run out. And it was sort of a bizarre thing of, now I guess I'm committing to this. We're doing drag and we're never turning back. Like at a certain point, I should truly buy like a thousand Capizio tights too. Like I should just stop having to restock these things every once in a while and just have them. So I got these lashes here. These are So Sue, Suzanne Jackson premium lashes. Aren't these fucking gorgeous, you guys? It's rare that I open up some lashes and I really like gasp. I thought these were so pretty. They have almost like a Kim K, like early Kim K look where the lashes are very chunky and fluttery instead of spiky. By the way, they're marked left and right, which I find so funny because I, people have put lashes on backwards. I've seen people do it. I wonder if I can do a full strip. I never do a full strip on the bottom, but I'm gonna do something really weird. I'm gonna take a Q-tip and I'm gonna paint my lash glue on where it's gonna go instead of painting it on the lash. Nice, big, fat, chunky lash, bitch. Yes. This style is called Carla. This is really, really pretty. And these are some of my favorite lashes I've used in a long time. While I'm here, this looks pretty good, right? I'm gonna do a little bit with this pen liner and I'm just gonna do a little bit. I don't wanna overcut the crease, but I just think it needs something. You know what, you guys, this pen, this is, it's giving me transparent. It's giving me dried out. It's, it's just really not, it's not giving, it's not giving. So I don't know. I guess I'll try to use it for the sake of the video, but it's really not giving. I think I overcut it. Here we go. Here's the part in the makeup where I start f***ing it up. Okay, I blame the liner. That looks like shit, and I blame the liner. Okay, whatever. Beauty Bay, you know I, I root for you. We were all rooting for you, but this liner's not good. This liner is, is maybe it died in shipment. I don't know, but it's just, it's, it's dried out. It's pokey. There's a lot of other better options than this right here. I'm gonna try to fix it. I'm gonna take this flat liner brush and I'm gonna try to just go in and like kind of just buff around it. I just, if I'm at the point of trying to fix makeup, I can admit when I f up, but I think that this liner s up. That kind of helped it. That kind of definitely saved it. Brand new Urban Decay Brow Blade. This isn't exactly new. I mean, I love this product, so. I'm gonna use the little marker on the end. But you see on the bottom of that brow, I just need a little more get. And then I'm just gonna use the very tip of the pencil, you guys, and I use the very tip. And I just do suggested hairs. You know what I mean? Like look at that brow to that brow now. Do you see how the end, it just has more of a That's better. That's more better. There's this thing I try to do in makeup that I often regret, which is where I do a little bit of shimmer under the brow bone. I usually don't like it, but for some reason on this makeup today, I just feel compelled to do it. So let's just do it. I'm gonna take some of this white shimmer here. This is going under. Incredible song. I think I'm gonna try to do a little under the brow. Let's just see what happens and nobody freak out. Yeah, this is the type of thing I would never do on stage because I think it would look crazy, but I do think in a video sometimes this type of introducing a texture is nice. Oh, okay, I actually kind of like that. Do you guys like that? It's a little more severe. It's a little more gothy and like Edward Scissorhandsy, I think. Let's see, what do I have for different blush options here? I have this Peanuts Wet n Wild The Gift of Giving Face Quad. The Gift of Giving. The gift of giving face. How about that? How about that, diva darling? Um, we have two options here. I think I'm gonna try to do this moody or brownier one. This isn't like exactly my type of blush, but you know what? See, that's pretty. I think like, oh, just put on pink blush. Just put on like a Trixie pink blush. 
But then these neutrally colors are just so easy. Look how nice that is. I'm gonna take a little bit of this pink color though, because I mean, listen, we're gothy, but we're still, we still have life in our, our bodies. I'm gonna do a little bit of that. That's gorgeous to me. I wonder if it's the Mega Glow formula, because the highlighters from them are, woo! So for a lip, I'm thinking of doing this. This is one of those Maybelline lip vinyls in golden. I'm thinking of doing that and then doing like this Hip Dot My Chemical Romance color, like over it, like a peach. So I have like a nudie lip. So let's do it. I brought my lip pencils here. Let's start with a good pencil. I peep most of my pencils in this bag. It's just easy. I'm gonna try to not do what I always do, which is like a purple circle that's not blended in. Sometimes I see myself in pictures, I'm like, you look like you have a mustache. I saw myself on the red carpet the other day in a picture, because usually when you're on a red carpet, by the time you get home, you can find a picture of yourself for the good, for the better or worse. I saw a picture of myself the other day and I was like, hey, that lip is not what you thought it looked like, but good for you. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche Matte Sharpenable Lip Liner in 112. Let's put it in my little kimchi sharpener. Kim, I love this sharpener. My problem is it, it fills up very quickly. My favorite sharpeners are the Alcone ones, you guys. I mean, that's part of why the reason we haven't done one at Trixie Cosmetics is because I do think Alcone kind of created the perfect sharpener. <laughs> okay, here we go. Got a little lip line going on. I'm gonna do something unprecedented, which is blend it. I think by the time I'm at the lips, I'm just always in a hurry. Speaking of red carpets, I went to a Spotify event the other day and I got to meet Madison Beer. You guys, she was so beautiful in person. I'd love to have her on the channel. Do you guys listen to her music? I think she's fun. Beautiful to look at, beautiful to listen to. This is a new pencil. This is a Makeup Forever pencil called whatever walnut, which is, I don't like that name. <laughs> whatever walnut, it's like a weird comeback to someone who's bald. Whatever walnut, very pretty, very beautiful. I can't believe I've never used this color before. It reminds me of Spice from MAC, but I think the Makeup Forever pencil, this is, I know we've talked about this a million times. This is by far the best, in my opinion, best lip pencils on the market. These Makeup Forever pencils are unbelievable. I wanna just do this nude. I'm afraid that this color is gonna be too dark, like too, bright and sunny. I'm just gonna do the nude, you guys. I'm gonna do the nude, just get into it. This is Mother War, My Chemical Romance. Oh, I'm gonna love this. <laughs> like I kind of want like dead girl pale, but I think I have to blend it a little bit. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love colors like this. Oh! Isn't it crazy I started this video um, contemplating jumping off this patio and now through the magic of lip color, I feel like just wonderful. I could, I could cry, this is so beautiful. I'm gonna go put on I mean, my version of some kind of gothy look. We'll be honest, I got a closet with a lot of pink in it. So um, I'm gonna go change into that and be right back. Goth girl shit. I mean, on this on this pink background, I don't really buy it. But if I was on like a black background, like, ooh. Um, I'm gonna do nails. I never talk about what nails I like. And Sally Hansen is one of my favorite nail brands. They do everything correctly. I love this, the fast dry polish line. And they just sent me a bunch of their nails. These are the perfect manicure nails. I have rainbow ones here, but I'm gonna wear these black ones. I have never talked about why I do my nails the way I do. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do. I take a little nail file. Now, I don't wanna upset anyone, but this is a nail that I slammed in a car door. Does everyone see that? It's not great. I take a little file. I take a little bit on each one right on the nail plate. I am an advocate for stickers, nail stickers, because I'm allergic to glue. That type of glue, it just, it like breaks out my fingers. It's disgusting. But people are always like, oh, the stickers don't work for me. You're not prepping your nail correctly, okay? Little scrubby, scrubby, scrubby. You don't have to go in. You don't have to ruin your nail, but just so it's not smooth to start. Then I take a tiny cotton pad, some 99% alcohol, spray, spray, spray. And then I go in and wipe off the nail plate of each finger. By the way, how cool are these earrings? Selena Gomez sent me today. They, well, can I have the other one? Oh, f I have one earring on. Selena Gomez sent me these earrings that say TM. And I opened it and I said, well, it says TM. And I would, not to be dumb, I was like, Selena Gomez, that, that doesn't make any sense. And I was like, oh, I understand now. Look, TM, love her. Prep the nail with alcohol. Then I like to take the stickers. These are just like from Amazon. They're individual little sticker things. I put a sticker on each nail that matches the size. Takes me two seconds. Takes me less than three minutes. Now I'm gonna take each nail and I just press this sucker on. And because I prepped the nail, sticks right on. Easy. I just grab things that I think are close in size and I just press it on. It's not damaging to my skin. It's not damaging to my nails. It's super easy. That's how I do fake nails. It took me two minutes. I don't ever have to use glue. Don't get pressured into using glue. I think this look could use a little more glitter. I'm gonna do a little bit of this uh, Lit Glitter Forever Glitter Base. So I'm gonna use a disposable. I have a little Q-tip here. And I wanna do a little bit of blue glitter right under the eye. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this disposable Q-tip and I'm just gonna soften and wet this area right here. There's a little bit of shimmer shadow here. 
And I think a little bit of blue glitter will be really beautiful. I have this uh, teal hologram from MAC. This is really old, but I don't think I've ever even used it. So it's very thrilling when you've had a glitter for years to actually use it for once. Gorge, glitter, glitter, glitter. So let's talk about some of the new stuff that we like. I will say I started this video feeling very dark-sided and now I feel gorgeously dark-sided. So makeup is transformation, makes you feel good. All right, so let's talk about what I love. This Evanescence palette is beautiful. It's beautiful. The quality of the pigment's great. The shimmer's great. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Wet n' Wild palette, peanuts. I don't know if I'd ever use it again, but I'm always happy with their blushes and highlighters and all that. I think that I just, I love Wet n' Wild. This Hip Dot My Chemical Ro Romance uh, white body paint, never again. I mean, it's as good as any other white body paint. I'm just like not into that anymore. Illamasqua Black Shadow. This isn't exactly new, but this is like a really wonderful, wonderful black shadow. Brand new Urban Decay Brow Blade. One of my favorite brow products. It just saves the day every time. Love this little Snoopy Lash Curler, but I mean, I've had the Wet n Wild Lash Curlers before. They're really, really nice. Really, really nice. If you're not sure about lash curlers, this is a great starter, uh, what is it? Gateway Drug Lash Curler. The Sky High Primer. I think the Sky High Mascara is completely fine on its own. This really made it drag queen style, which I enjoy. I just think this with this, most people will be like, holy shit, this is crazy. This My Chemical Romance lipstick, this little nudie color, gorgeous. Oh, this, and the Sigma black liner. I believe the color is Wicked. It's a great black liner. Look how nice and dark it is. Obviously I said it with that shadow, but I think it's really nice. All right, I'm leaving. Bye, 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 bye.